Hi girls, welcome back to this video and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am so glad you have joined us today, which is going to be one of my favourite videos that I have filmed in a long, long time. It is a Christmas 2019 decoration interior haul of loads of my favourite pieces that I've picked up from um, loads of high street and really um, purse friendly stores so far this year to add to my new colour scheme for this year which is going to be white and grey. Um, if you are new here, my name is Beth, I have three children, one stepson, I'm married to my husband Rick, we live in the UK and we also have two French Bulldogs. Um, and yeah, if you don't already, come and follow me on Instagram, my handle is just down here, we will be sharing so much of our Christmas content, so much of our Christmas organisation, planning, all that kind of stuff on my Instagram over the next few weeks as well as on my YouTube channel so if you don't already subscribe hit that subscribe button hit those notifications so you don't miss any of our Christmas planning over the next few weeks because I am determined to spend the next three weeks organizing and have the whole of December to spend some really nice time with my family to go for days out to go and visit family I want everything bought ordered wrapped, organised by December the 1st. So if you want to get on board with that and come along with me, I'm going to be sharing lots of organisational Christmas videos over the next few weeks to keep you on track and organised so that you can also spend your December with your family stress free. So um, let's get straight into this video. It is really, I am so excited. I'm feeling so Christmassy. I cannot wait to get this all up in my house. It's going to be going up this week. Um, the tree is going to be going up and I'm going to start putting all these little pieces around the house. Um, there's going to be loads of Christmas decor and um, interior videos coming your way over the next few weeks. So I'm going to start putting these all up. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so um, I'm literally surrounded by bags and piles of Christmas stuff. So this isn't going to be in any kind of order. I'm just going to grab at things and start sharing them with you. This for our lounge theme, we're going to have our big tree here. Rick is going to put the TV up over the mantelpiece for me this weekend um, so that we can have our main tree here in the corner. But previously we've had it here, which is in our like bay window. But where our sofa is now, because we've got like a corner sofa, there's gonna it's going to be a real bit of a squish, so I'm going to put it here. Um, and then in the living room, the plan is to do a massive garland across the mantelpiece and then behind the camera here we have two like some picture rails so along them I'm just going to put some Christmassy pictures and we're going to have a grey and white theme in here so to make our sofa start looking a little bit more Christmassy I have ordered these amazing little cushions a really nice quick and easy way to kind of update your living room um, interior for Christmas in a really cheap and cost effective way is to do something like these. So I had a little look on H&M and they have loads of cushion covers. So you don't have to particularly buy new cushions, you can just buy the covers and put these over the cushions that you already have just to update your um, update your interior and make it feel that little bit more festive. And these were so cheap, they were $3.99 for the cover cases. So they have a different size, so this is a 40 by 40 centimeter and it just says have yourself a very merry Christmas and a happy new year and I can just put that over my normal covers, my normal cushions that I have in this size and then after Christmas unzip it, have my new, normal interior back and just pop the Christmas covers away with my Christmas stuff and it's just a really kind of nice little way that you can update your lounge for Christmas and just add those little finishing touches which make all the difference I think when you're wanting that really nice cosy cosy feel so I picked up this one which was $3.99 from H&M Home and then I also picked up this one which is the bigger size, this is 50 by 50 and it's just got the stag on, it's just a happy holidays for everyone I just thought that was really really nice, so I thought these will go really nice on our grey sofa I can put them over some of our covers that we've already, uh, cushions that we've already got and it's just such a quick way to update and with them being 3 99 just so cheap and affordable as well, so they had loads of different designs uh, but these are the two that I chose. I just want our lounge to look really like festive and chucked together and to put loads of little pieces and piece them all together and make it look really cosy. So I picked up those two from H&M Home. So I also picked up this one which I got from the range. So this one comes with the cover inside but I couldn't resist it because it just says all you need is love and it just reminds me of my dad. Um, so I got this one and thought this will go really really nicely with our little grey colour scheme. It will also carry on through so once Christmas is finished I can still keep hold of it 
it was 7 99 and yeah, it just looks really, really cute. So this and then the other chair, I'm going to dot those on the sofa just to give it a little bit of like, a little bit of character in here. Um, and yeah, I really, really like this one. So this one is from The Range. Also for the living room from The Range, I picked up this, which is going to go underneath our Christmas tree. So the plan is with this, obviously it's just a Christmas tree skirt. I'm going to, we're going to, it just says Merry Christmas. But then I'm also going to layer on top of this, like a grey faux um, like rug that we had from home scent hmm. so I'm going to put this one across the bottom of the tree and then I'm going to layer the faux fur rug over the top just for a little bit of texture this one was 16.99 but they also had tons of other ones in the range also um, I just like the little faux fur trim on it and I think once it's underneath the tree with all the decorations in here it's just going to add another few little bits of texture so that is going to go with our little grey and white colour scheme and then I also picked up, picked up this tree topper from Matalan. Um, we needed a new top topper to go on in the tree. Ours was broken, like on the back, the glass had broken. So I picked up this one. Then I've also got loads of like twigs and flowers um, and bits and pieces. So I'm going to put it all together and then see. I might need a few bits extra. I've also got some bows that I might add just underneath the star. But this one was just $6.99. And I thought it was really, really nice. It looks really decorative. I just thought it looked really pretty, really festive on top of the tree. And for six pounds, I just thought that was an absolute bargain. So this one was from Matalan. And then staying on the tree theme, I picked up these flowers. Now you're gonna think I'm crazy. These are for my tree. <laughs> but I picked up these flowers from the range. They were one ninety nine each, and I got the gray and the white because we're doing a gray and white color scheme. And my plan for these is, um, to put them in any gaps on the tree so I'm just gonna shove the sticks in them and let the flowers just poke out of any gaps just to make it look really really full so I got the white and the grey and the thing I liked about these were that they've got these leaves as well so I can kind of pull them out they're just gonna fill up any gaps or holes in my tree and just make it really glam really pretty and then afterwards once the tree comes down Ooh. because they are just fake flowers I can then put them somewhere else I can maybe put them in a vase somewhere um, and use them all year round as well so they were £1.99 each I got six of each so that was £24 for all of them um, but they're so detailed I'm not sure whether you can see they've got so many like glam little kind of sequindy bits on the inside of the flowers and then on the leaves they've got like this kind of glittery silky sheen to them I just thought they were really, really cute and another one that I can use not just for Christmas but after Christmas as well. So they are going to go on my tree and then the other thing that I picked up for the tree, which I'm not sure about but I will use them somewhere, are these decorative garlands from Matalan. So these are like a feather boa which I love like when people put the feather bows around the tree and things like that or like into garlands and things but the things I loved about this is they were like kind of got this like golden like trim like sheen to them so they are a feather boa but then they've got like this glittery gold on them also so I picked up two of those they were just £10 each and I'm either going to put them on the tree or I'm going to drape them like entwined in like a garland or something like that but they I just thought they're really 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 pretty and I know they are gold and they're not white and grey but because they're white I think with lights and things they're just gonna look really really cute yeah so those are £10 each and I love those and then carrying on with the grey scheme I picked up these two little kind of decorative trees and they have this kind of like woolen um, detail-y texture on the outside and then they've got these like silver pearl trims with a star on top and I just thought they looked really cute kind of dotted somewhere I might sit them at the bottom of the Christmas tree I might sit them on the mantelpiece or in front of the wood fire um, I'm not quite sure yet but I've also ordered from Matalan some similar kind of like dome white ones that are light so I think I've ordered four of those so I'm just gonna mix them around add them somewhere just to add a little bit of texture but I think these were 5 99 no these were 3 29 each from the range which is so so good um, and I just thought yeah they'll just add those little touches and another layer of texture in the living room somewhere with the grey and white scheme you could also 
maybe put some like battery LED light underneath as well because I think that would just show through and look really really cute so they were an absolute little bargain and also from the range I picked up these which are a pearl garland now these were down the wedding aisle they were I think $2.99 on the range and they're like let me see if I can open this up and show you without making an absolute mess of them <laughs> I thought these are going to look really pretty either on the Christmas tree or on the mantelpiece garland or on like a garland that I'm going to do somewhere else they might even look really really nice on the Christmas table centerpiece if I can ever unfold them ah. <laughs> so they're just this like pearly kind of wire garland but I just thought that was so pretty and so Christmassy and it's just going to look really nice so if you put that with something like these it's going to look super super Christmassy if you put them oh, with something like on the mantelpiece like the greenery they're just going to look so nice and for the price they're just so so lovely so I got two packs of these and the price on these was so so good I will link them below so you can find them and yeah they are another absolute winner they also had tons of other like little decoration things little kind of tabletop of things that you could sprinkle on like your christmas table on your um on your tablecloth and your centerpiece look really nice so definitely if you do go to the range check out the wedding hour because they've got some really gorgeous little pretty festive kind of white things that you can add in to your interiors and then the next thing that i picked up when i was in matalan was loads of christmas nightwear so I feel like in a few weeks, actually, well, maybe already even, um, we are going to be spending our nights in Christmas pyjamas, watching Christmas films. So I stocked up on some amazing little ones. So I got this one. This was from Matalan. They had it in loads of different sizes. I got this in an age eight for Albie, and it's just like a little dinosaur pyjama set. So the top is like this raglan top with the red and designer dinosaur print. And the trousers are just like these Christmassy dinosaur T-Rex pants with the little cuffed bottoms and I just thought they are going to look really really cute on him they were $9.50 for the set and yeah I think he's going to really really love those so I got those ones for Albie and then for Max I picked up this kind of little festive two-piece they did also have them in like adults and children so you could do matching um, but we didn't do the matching but we did pick up these so they've got two t-shirts on one is this kind of stag with the tinsel on top and then another one or oh, it's on the back <laughs> is this plain one which kind of looks like the little abercrombie tops with the uh stag on the top in this navy blue and then they've got two mix and match trousers so these are like a brushed cotton which are really really nice and again you can then wear they're not too Christmassy that you're not going to wear them again um, so they are really nice and soft and then the other one is more like um, a jersey pyjama with the cuff bottoms and then they have like the antlers and stuff on so you can mix and match those and they were $14.50 for the set of two and they have these in all different sizes as well so I got those ones for Max um, and then I picked up some pyjamas for Rick. Rick's really hard to buy Christmas pyjamas for because he's so tall and he's so big um, so we got a mix and match so Lots of the sets were like like the kind of leggingy, like long john kind of ones, which he doesn't really want because they just don't fit him and look silly on him. So we got him these, which are like a brushed jersey, Christmassy pyjama bottom with like stags on. And they're in this lovely like burgundy wine colour. Um, so these were £10. They had loads of just like the trousers. So if you want your hobby to join in, but they don't want to do the whole, you know, matchy matchy Christmas, there's loads of just Christmassy pyjama pants that you can pick them up and then they can just literally wear any t-shirt. We picked up this t-shirt, which we thought was so cute. This t-shirt just has the Coca-Cola Christmas advert kind of design on it. And yeah, we thought we can just chuck that on with the pyjama bottoms or with some other ones. And it was just £10 and yeah, we got that. They had loads of other different like Christmassy kind of like slogany ones as well. Um, so we picked that one up for Rick because he's too cool for matching pyjamas. And then for me I got these which I really really love. I love just like a satiny traditional 
pyjama set, especially a short set because I always get too hot in trousers because our house is really warm. Um, so they're these. So these have like a little like leopardy croc kind of design to like the silk. So they're these little shorts with a little black trim and then just a normal like traditional um, pyjama top. So I really like those because sometimes I do like a Christmas pyjama, like a, a novelty one, but I do like just like a, like a normal one as well. Um, so these were £18 for the set, which I didn't think was too bad. They don't feel silky, they feel more like, I'm not sure what the word is. They're not like a satiny effect, they're more like a kind of matte material, but they're still really nice and they look way more expensive than £18. So I really like those. I got those in a size 10, so I sized up because I love pyjamas to be comfy, not too tight. And then also from the women's section, we got these for Effie because Effie's like 11 now, so she does she could fit in the children's pajamas, but she likes to think she's cool and like have like the grown-up ones like I have. So we picked her these up. So these were again like a little mix and match. So we got these little shorts, which are a size eight, I think. Oh, they're a size small. And they're eight pounds, and they're just really fun. Like they're the hot pink design, they've got the little frills in the shorts. And then like the little candy cane um, design in the front. So they'll be nice and big on her and she can just then pull them in at the waist. Ugh, yeah, you can pull them in at the waist. Um, so they will be really cute on her. And then we got her this, which is just like a sweatshirt. Um, and it just says Jingle Bells on. So we thought she could wear those together and be a bit cute and a bit cool and more grown up. She could also wear this for a Christmas jumper, for like Christmas jumper day at school and things as well. And it's really, really soft on the inside. So that one was 10 pounds. And we got that in a size eight to 10. So again, it's gonna be really big on her, but she kind of likes that. She is always pinching like my pajamas and jumpers and things. So she'll love that. And it's got like this sparkly jingle bells on the front. And then last but last, not least, we picked this up for Seth. Um, he is a huge Star Wars fan, so we got him this little Star Wars pyjama set. So it's like the kind of like Long John kind of style. So we got it in age nine and it feels really nice and soft and it's just this plain pyjama top with all the details on top. It was £12 and then it has the matching trousers. So he will like that. It says, let the force be with you. May the force be with you. And then it has like little Christmassy Darth Vader and Stormtroopers on and he will think that is really cool. Yeah, and that one was £12 for the set, so that will be really nice for him. And then for the other babies in the house, otherwise known as Mary and Elton, we picked up these little Christmas jumpers, again from Matalan. So, for Mary, we got this one, which is like a little Santa kind of coat with the hood and the faux fur trim, and the same on the um, front where her little arms are gonna go, and that was just, six pounds so she can look really cute in that we can put her in that for christmas day maybe and then for alton we got this which is in a size small i think it might be a little bit big for him but we'll see um, and it's just like a red knitted roll neck so they're gonna look so cute in that that was just eight pounds so they're both gonna look so so cute in these for christmas day or christmas eve or something like that we might get them some little like El um doggy like antlers as well and also in Matalan they had these really cute little socks like Christmassy dog socks so like with the red and white faux fur and there's some little Christmas pudding ones but we didn't think they're going to fit on the dog's feet because they look so tiny and I think French Paul does have quite big chunky feet speaking of the devil if you can hear him whinging oh so, yeah we didn't get the socks but they had loads of little stuff for dogs like little toys and loads of Christmassy things in Matalan so if you have got a little doggy have a look in Matalan they've got some really cute little things for them for Christmas so we picked up those two and then we also got this for the dogs as well to put on their little Christmassy bed so I'm going to get them a Christmas blanket for their bed and then I got this which is so cute and it just says dog hair don't care um, so I'm going to sit that on their bed um, in the dining room because I thought that's really really cute and they can snuggle up to that and that was also from Matalan and that was just six pounds so I don't mind getting things like that for the dog when it's so cheap and it's literally six pounds and then we also picked this up for Rick just to dress him up looking silly but then Albie's actually put it on this morning as well and we're thinking when they have Christmas jumper day at school we're gonna let Albie wear it to school but he literally just looked like an elf in it because Albie's so pale and he's got like the little blonde hair um, so it just says Daddy Elf. I think they had like Mummy Elf ones as well. So it's just like a little novelty Christmas hat. So we got that from Matalan. 
Oh, they do little kids ones as well as grown ups as well. So you can get ones for the kids and ones for the grown ups. I don't know how much that was. It doesn't say on, but it wasn't expensive. I'll put it in the description below how much it was. So it says little daddy elf on it. Yeah, so I also wanted to show you these. These are from a little Instagram shop called The Little Elf Door, and they sent these little um, baubles for the kids, which I absolutely love. I love that they're just white, because they're gonna go with every color scheme you could possibly think of, so they'd make a really nice present if you wanted to get somebody a nice little present for Christmas as well. And they just say all the kids' names on them. So they've got Max and a little heart, Effie, Seth, and Albie. So definitely go and check out their little bits that they have on their Instagram store, because they've got some really gorgeous, gorgeous little things, so thank you for those. Then I also picked up these, which I thought were so, so good, not necessarily just for Christmas, but I always think at Christmas you have loads of little pieces that you kind of want to, um, like, you want to make your house look really Christmassy and festive, and I think things like these little jars with the different things inside the jars can make things look really cute, like all your Christmas shells, like in your kitchen and things like that. So I've got some little Christmas tree chocolates I've just popped in these jars. And at the moment they're just sitting on the shelf in the dining room. Um, but when we do put all our Christmas decorations up in the kitchen, I'm gonna make the shelves like a real feature, like Christmassy kind of um, theme in there. So I'm gonna pop those in there and you can put loads of different things. You could put things like little gingerbread men, like some more little chocolates, loads of different things that you could add in. But these were such a bargain. These were just from Aldi and they were 6 99 for two. So you could use those in your Christmassy um, kitchen decoration. They were such a bargain. And then the next thing I want to show you is this, which is a table runner for Matalan. Now every year I never buy enough table runners and I always like have one that's for Christmas and then it gets dirty on Christmas day with like the meal and everything. I end up moving it away. Then I have nothing to put out in the evening and then I don't have anything to put out on Boxing Day. So I'm gonna get a good handful. So I picked this one up in Matterline just because it was so cheap, it was just 10 pounds, and it's just this cream and gold effect runner. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to just be used for Christmas, you could definitely use this at other times in the year as well. And they had so many amazing like dining sets, glasses, tableware, loads of things like um, napkins and tablecloths and things, so they have some lovely things and the prices in them are so, so good. That was just £10 and the it runs to 220 centimetres, which is really good for us because we have such a long table, so I always have to check, but this is a really nice long one. Um, and yeah, it was just £10, an absolute bargain, so I really liked that. And then again from Aldi, when I was in there this week, I just picked these up, which are little gold, you say succulent in ceramic, so I assume that's what the kind of plant's called. I'm not a person who knows a lot about plants, but they're these little kind of pot plants, and then they're obviously sprayed gold, which looks so festive, and then they're in these cute little ceramic um, gold little pots. So I thought, what I'm gonna do is, obviously they're just sprayed gold, and then they can just sit so I'm going to pop these somewhere, I'm not sure where, but for 2 99 I just thought they looked so, so cute. And the two of them next to each other can just go somewhere in the house just to make a little corner look nice and festive. So they were 2 99 from Aldi. I think they had some other colours as well, but I just picked up the gold ones because then it just keeps everything neutral and it's all going to kind of go. So those were a little bargain from Aldi. And then again from Aldi, I picked this up, which was an absolute bargain. I think they were 2 99 and I picked it up thinking it was a Yankee candle, basically because from far away it literally just looks like a Yankee candle. Um, and the smell on them is amazing. It smells like a cheesecake. But they had some Christmassy ones, they had all different ones, but I just absolutely love this. And I can't believe for an Aldi candle it smells so strong and so like the Yankee ones. So from far away, you literally would just think that's a Yankee candle. You didn't think twice about it. So, oh, they say smell so, so nice. So definitely check out Aldi. They had loads of different colours and smells in there of these candles and I could not believe how cheap they were. So 2 99 and this one I would definitely recommend getting. It is so, so yummy. And then I picked up this as well because I've wanted one of these in my kitchen for ages. 
um, because when I'm finding when I'm cooking or I've got recipe books out I just want something that I can sit it on so I thought this will come in handy when we're doing like Christmas baking on Christmas Eve making Christmas cookies doing that kind of stuff and it was just £10 and it's gonna look really really nice just in my um, kitchen with like a nice little cookery book or even like when we're not cooking and the kitchen's all nice and clean it'll just make it it's just another little thing to add in the corner it'll look really really homely so it was just £10 and I absolutely loved loved it so that was from Matalan as well and then I wanted to show you this it's not really Christmas decor but I just think it's really really cute and I bought this for somebody for an early Christmas present um, I'm not going to tell you who <laughs> because they might see this no I didn't think they will but um, I thought it was really cute. It's basically from a place called embracingmindfulness.com and it's a mindfulness advent calendar. So I know there's so many like novelty advent calendars and stuff at the moment, um, but it basically comes in this jar and it's an advent calendar. It looks really cute and really festive. And it's basically an advent calendar. So every day, or every morning, you open up the candle. It says, enjoy the little things in life. For one day you'll look back and realise they were the big things. Which is so true. And each day you pick out one of these little sheets. And inside it says, like, nice little things you should do. So, like, look for, like, positive energy and, like, take care of yourself. And to remember, like, what's important and not stress about those little things. So so cute so it says this task requires us to focus on the positives of the day rather than negatives and helps to promote a happier and healthier mindset it's just like i love this this is the cutest present so for the person that i'm going to give this to they will absolutely love it because they are all about like positive energy positive vibes and like enjoying the little things in life i just thought it was so so cute so i got this off amazon so i will link it below but if you know somebody who's like having a hard time at the moment or you know is really into like mindfulness and positive vibes and all that kind of stuff I just think it's a really cute little present and even if you just want to give it to somebody as a little gift like I think it was £12 so it's not super expensive I just think it's a really nice way of showing somebody that you're thinking about them and that you you know appreciate that they're having a bit of a tough time so I think that's really really nice so yeah I'll put the link to that below And it comes in this really, really cute little box. So it's a really nice present for somebody who's having a little bit of a tough time, you know, this Christmas and stuff. So that is one other thing I wanted to share with you. And I'm also going to pop the link for the for my garland behind in the description box. This is part of my Christmas decoration, but I couldn't resist putting it up. It's just from Amazon and it has like the roses in and then I've added some little fairy lights in also and then... Next week when I put my decorations up, I'm going to put loads of like foliage and make it super, super festive. But at the moment, it's just looking pretty on its own. I can just about get away with this. Not too Christmassy. So I'll put the link for that as well in the description box. And I've also started a lot of my Christmas shopping. I think most of my Christmas shopping is almost done now. I've not bought everything for the kids yet because I know what they're like. They're going to change their mind and things. But pretty much all relatives are bought for and waiting to be wrapped so I'm going to wrap them all this week and then like put them away in like separate bags so I know who's is who's and who's on each drop off where and all that kind of stuff um so when I was in Matalan I picked up some um some Christmas wrapping because I thought it was really really cute and the colours on them were so so good and they were three for two as well so if you wanted to get if you've got loads of presents to wrap just get like tons and tons from there um, but they were this really cute like pink, rose gold and cream colourway. I just thought they were really pretty. So they were £5 for three rolls of the gift wrap and ten tags. So I got two of those colourways which were really lovely. And then I also picked up some matching tags. So there's 25 tags in here and that one was £3. And then I got these big bows as well, so when I've got some big presents, or I may even put these on the tree to be honest, because they've got like these um, bits behind. So I may even get a couple more of those and add, put the silver ones and add them into the tree, because they'll probably look really, really cute. Um, so yeah, have a look at those. If you wanted some bows for your tree, have a look at Matalan. Um, 
wrapping section <laughs> they had loads of different colors uh, but if not they will look amazing as well with the wrapping paper too so yeah they were another thing I just wanted to share with you so I'm all ready to start wrapping and getting organized one thing I'm definitely doing as well this year is getting some Christmas prints to add in to like decorations. So they're either going to go on the mantelpiece or they might go on the picture frame or I might just sit them like around the fireplace. But I've got these three prints. These are from a place called With Love Teddy. They are an Instagram store. I've had some prints of them before and they are so, so nice. Um, and I just ordered three different sizes in like these Christmas sayings. So they do do some bigger sizes as well, so if you wanted to get a really, really big one. So we have this one, which is like a grey let it snow print. So I'm going to get a nice little frame and just like sit it in somewhere just to make the whole like interior look really inspo and cute and cosy. And then I got this one, which says, have yourself a Merry Little Christmas. So that's in the A4 size. So I'm going to get some little kind of grey or maybe black print frame or maybe white frames to go on them and then this one which I love says Christmas at the Bartrams so it's going to look really really cute so I might put it somewhere just as you come in um, but they're going to tie in with our little grey and white colour scheme but they also have tons of other colours as well so if you're doing like whites and blush or all these different things you can get those they'd also make a really nice little present for somebody too um, so I will link their website below but they've got loads and loads of prints not even just Christmas ones like normal ones as well so they are definitely one of those little things that you can add in and make your home look really unique because when I was looking for Christmas prints online there's not that many places that do them so definitely check out with Love Teddy they've got some gorgeous gorgeous Christmas prints so we also picked up this which is from H&M Home and it's just like a special Christmassy plate this was $3.99 as well, which I thought was such a good price. Um, so we're going to use this for our mince pie and carrot and those kind of things for Santa on Christmas Eve. And it just says make a wish come true. And I just thought it was so much nicer and a bit classier than some of the Christmas like plates you get for Christmas Eve. Sometimes it can be a bit tacky. Um, but I really like this one. And just for $3.99, I thought it was so, so nice. So that was from H&M Home. So I am still waiting for loads of my garlands and wreaths and all things like that to arrive. So there is going to be another Christmas haul coming your way, don't worry. Um, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that one. But that is it for today's little Christmas haul of loads of goodies of things that I've been buying this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Everything that you've seen in the video is linked down below in the description box. And yeah, I'm so excited for Christmas now. I just want to get all excited. Like every day me and the kids are having Christmas music on and we're making little hot chocolates. And I just want to make my home like a little grotto now, make it all nice and cozy and then just start getting super organized for Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you have liked from the video, what you're going to purchase for yourselves to get yourselves all in the mood for Christmas. And I will see you in my next video, which will be coming very soon. And our Christmas tree decorating video will be coming next week. So don't miss it. Uh, I love you all. I hope you're all excited for Christmas too. And I will see you very soon.